Let's return to the beach and more Faith Hunt lessons with Gary. Now on Fixing the Money Thing. Everyone needs a spot, some place, something that you really enjoy doing. It takes you to a quiet place where you can hear the Lord. One year I was facing a very difficult business decision and it was intense. There was a timeline. There were inter attorneys involved. Decisions had to be made. And I was praying in the spirit. I just couldn't, I just couldn't hear. I just couldn't, I couldn't discern what, what God had in that situation. So Drenda and I went to uh, Cedar Point. That's an amusement park. And by changing environment and focusing on each other and having some fun, as I was standing in line for one of those rides there, all of a sudden I heard the Lord. I knew exactly what to do. Peace came over me. And so it's very important. If you read the scriptures, you'll find that Jesus, the Bible literally says he went away to a quiet place. Everyone needs a quiet place, some place, something that you do that allows you to find time to think about something other than what you have to do that day. I think I'm getting a bite, maybe. Something that you have to do, it's pressing, that gives you a chance to just think about life for a minute. I am going to get a fish here one of these days. They're out there. So, we live in a society that is extremely busy. Especially with technology, it's just difficult to find a spot that is quiet. Unless you make it a priority. For me, mornings, I have to get up early enough to beat the day, so to speak. That's when I get up and exercise. So if I ride my bike every morning for an hour, I pray for an hour and I listen to the Lord for an hour or I listen to scriptures for an hour. But that's where I hear the Lord at. I'll take my cell phone with me not to get a phone call, but I'll take notes. When I hear the Lord, I'll just make a, I'll, I'll make a note on my phone in my note section on the phone of what God's telling me, and that makes a great start to a day. Wherever it's at, for me, it could be a tree stand in the fall out hunting too. Wherever it's at, just, just time alone. Just the glory of God is everywhere around you if you take the time to look and listen. But quite frankly, nothing beats a nice sunset Ah, beat that one. <laughs> On a beach. Like I said, the water's a little rough right now for the fish, but I had one on, didn't I, though, a minute ago. Let's try it again. That looks like a good spot. You know, so many people, Christians, try to live off of their Sunday morning experience. That's not really how we as Christians should live. The Bible says, give us this day our daily bread. Now, of course, that means physical, but we also need that revelation, that communion with the Lord every day. Because if we don't take the time to do that, then the next part of the Lord's prayer will not work. And that is, deliver us from evil. And that's referring to the Holy Spirit's ability to speak to us and warn us. But if we have not practiced hearing the Holy Spirit on a daily basis, we're going to miss a lot of opportunities. And yes, warnings. But we're just gonna miss a lot of what God has for us, so. 
You need to make it part of your daily life to spend some time with the Lord and listen, and meditate on the scriptures on a daily basis. The sun is going down. Fish are either farther out or they're closer in. Let's see if we can find where they're at. They come in to get the food along this beach. Sun's almost down, just a little sliver left. It's always kind of a special time at night. And that last speck of sun goes down. The day comes to an end, so to speak. With God, the potential he has in your life is so great. It's kind of like fishing. You may not be catching anything, then all of a sudden, boom, you got one on. That's how life is. Without you knowing it, God's working behind the scenes on your behalf. Even though you can't see what's happening in the spiritual realm, he is working on your behalf. And then, all of a sudden, you see it. And when you see it, you can capture it. So there's a lot of ways to learn how to fish. One of the simplest ways to learn how to fish is to ask someone who knows how to fish. That's pretty evident. And that's how it is in business as well. So if you have a desire towards a certain business idea, Best and the quickest way to start is to find out what someone else is doing. Wow. And then ask them. You can get some mentors, people that know business can help you save a lot of trouble. Save you a bunch of time just by asking. And people love to talk about what they like. In other words, I can ask any fisherman, and they'll talk to me about fishing because they like to fish. People like to talk about what they like. So if you find you like fishing, you ask someone about fishing, they'll give you some tips. The same in business. Find people who are in business, the same field you want to get into, ask questions, learn, Google, check it out. Save you a whole lot of time doing it the hard way whole lot of money. Everyone needs coaches and mentors. One of the quickest ways to be mentored is a book. You know, a lot of times people ask me for my time, and I say, yeah, sure, I'll give you my time. Here's 30 years of it right here. It's in my book. A book will tell, take you through someone's life experience. A book is a cheap way to gain experience and have mentorship from someone that's done it. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.